Hello guys, welcome to a new video on Tower of God New World. And this video is going to be the update maintenance for the update we're going to get uh, tomorrow, so on Wednesday. And uh, let's see what they have in store for us. We already know they're going to release Jin Sung Ha. Pretty clear. It's going to be SSR Plus Red Assassin, as we already saw also in the previous video. So pretty good. We have five new costumes. I thought they said only four, but they are already giving us the Hiwayeon costume. So pretty cool. I think that that has a hard one. Is not really that great. I think we saw it in one of the previous videos. Uh, not mine, but one of the videos released by uh, Netmarble. And that has a hard, meh, I don't know. I didn't really like it. Child and Dorsey, eh, yeah, well, as well. Uh, I don't remember which kind of costume she had, but I mean, who cares? I'm not even using her, whatever. Ha Jin Sung and Ha Yura are okay. The one for Jin Sung, I think it's just not that great, but okay, whatever. We just need to see which one of those is going to be the free skin. At the very least, we're not getting a skin for useless units, let's say, so it should be fine. Unless they are all paid ones, and the only free one is the Hiwa one that I already took it for granted. So I hope it's going to be Hiwa free, that's okay, and one of the other four. But whatever, we'll see, doesn't really matter. Then we have new uh, floors, doesn't matter because people are not supposed to push in this game apparently you're not supposed to play it but whatever uh, there is a new event again the trial which is confirmed so you can try Jin Sung Ha uh, by giving him the equipment and all the stats of one of your other SSR plus units so that you can test him out a bit in adventure etc uh, yeah that's definitely a nice feature if only we were allowed to push but okay <laughs> And then we also have the usual event missions. And this boost mission, I think it's a new way they are describing it. I was looking for the growth mission. But they probably changed it from growth to boost for some reason because I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Okay, whatever. Probably just changed growth to boost. Fine. Then we have the murder on the express train reunion, which is going to be a story event kind of mission with an exchange shop. Even though they didn't write it, what? They kind they are kind of changing what they're writing, at least here. So not clear, but okay. Oh no, okay. Yeah, sorry. I'm dumb. It's written here the event missions and the exchange shop. All right. Then we have the loot bonus time. Very cool. We have a new boss battle, which is going to be like the underground laboratory boss battles. So nothing much. There is going to probably be a new border if you can qualify in the top positions, etc. But pretty cool. Let's see how they change Ren for this boss fight. It's going to be interesting. So, OK, cool. Then we have bingo ticket consumption race. Okay, so the race they mentioned before, the rank, the rank event, whatever race is related to the people that can consume the most bingo tickets. And I'm assuming you will have to either spend suspend them for the bingo tickets or just uh, directly cash. So we'll see. Seems pretty stupid, but still better than the option of making the race tied to the trial arena. So definitely good from that point of view, but just dumb in general if it's really forcing you to spend the resources. Because again, anniversary is coming quite soon, so you don't really want to use resources like Suspendium on these kind of things, but whatever. We have new products that are going to be added. Wait a second. New products and then the note behind, like below, 
is that they are going to discontinue daily Shins bonus, daily premium bonus, and daily legendary bonus. Okay, the daily Shins, I wasn't even buying it, so it doesn't matter to me. But daily premium and daily legendary, those are like 3,600 suspendium per day. They're discontinuing it, so they're probably going to add cheaper products, I hope, like they did for the AD removal one. So let's hope for the best. Could be a good addition for the light spenders, dolphins, whatever. Uh, could be good. We'll see. If they're just removing it directly, I wouldn't be so happy. But we'll see. We'll see. Improvement and changes, replacement of costume exchange tickets. Doesn't matter to me, but we're, there were people that could, that got the same skin more than once in some previous events. So they were left with some costume exchange tickets in the in their inventory, in their bag. And I don't know what this replacement means. We'll see. Or at least they'll see. I have no idea. Advanced notice regarding the costume exchange ticket item. Probably there is already also another post. I can click on it later. Mission and reward changes to events for new regulars. Mm, okay, we'll see what that means. Addition of SSR, SSR Plus Towers Blessing Break Stones. What does that mean? No clue. We'll see. Alliance Store, addition of new items. Thanks, God. Improvements to auto delegation. I don't care. Improvements in product purchases. What does that mean? Lower prices or just more ways to buy stuff? I don't know. Improvement related to event exchanges. Mm, we'll see what that means as well. Addition of quick result to Guardian test. Thanks. It was really too annoying to just go through the battle every time. So quick result is a good addition for me, but we'll see. Selenius improvements, we don't know what that is. And that's pretty much all. So there is quite some stuff here, here and there. The main thing is obviously going to be Jin Ka and Hiwa costume. I would say those are the two most important things here. The event shop is going to be great if they are also adding the revolution mats and hopefully a good amount of that. We do not see anything related to revolution that they said they were going to implement in May. So I don't know. We'll see. It's probably going to be postponed to June. So the new pages and the new origin orb that we were supposed to get in June are probably going to be postponed to July. And even then in July, we're also getting the anniversary. So that would be a pretty stacked month. We'll see. But for now, it's okay. I'm still waiting on them to, to give comp retroactive compensation for that stupid mistake they did. Or just say, we're going to remove the race event in one week. We have no information on that here. So race event is probably still going to stay. Uh, even after this update, maybe, hopefully, they could remove it in June. I have no idea. But, yeah, if it's going to be permanent, they have to give compensation. No way around it. I'm saying it in every video. I'm sure it's going to be annoying for some of you. But, I mean, I I hope that you guys understood my position and the position of a lot of people that this is just stupid. This is just punishing. People might say, you are still getting free stuff, so it's not a punishment. It is a punishment because I'm not getting stuff I would have gotten, like in other, like I should have gotten, and that other people will get because they didn't push. So it's really stupid. And the rewards for pushing are nothing because you get no coins and no Shinsu from Adventure anyway. Even if you push three floors, okay, great. You are going to get 20 more Shinsu in a day. Wow, great, awesome, useless. And like totally useless. 
100% useless. So it's really, it's really annoying. Uh, and I hope they, they understand that because if they add additional events in the future that are not going to give retroactive compensation, why should I even bother playing if they don't increase the AFK loot that we're getting? Why? It's really stupid. But okay, whatever. They'll, I'm sure they'll fix it. It's really too stupid. It really makes no sense. It's like when they added black tickets, uh, black market tickets to the floor clear rewards, they did give them retroactively, obviously. Why not now? It's the same, it's the exact same concept. The exact same. There is no differences. So now imagine you are floor whatever you are, like 50. And then in this update, they add 20 more black market tickets per floor, floor clear, okay? But they're not giving you retroactive compensation. How would you feel? That's exactly the same as these stage event uh, topic, this race event. So it really makes no sense. But again, enough of that. Uh, that was all for this update. Well, actually, there is this adva advanced notice regard. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's not over. We have this additional information. So every 100 points of costume exchange tickets. Uh... Damn. It doesn't matter for us. But people that had these uh, costume exchange tickets are going to get free skins. And I think a lot of people had like 300 of those, so they're getting all three of these. Actually, the Child and Dorsey one, but I don't think this blonde really makes sense for Child and Dorsey for her face, but whatever. Like, yeah. Damn, they're getting those for free. Okay, whatever. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't matter for us, but at least these skins look good. There is no Data Zahard here, so I'm guessing Data Zahard is the free one. But it's just a guess. I have no idea. So, yeah. That's it, guys, for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.